Welcome to my messing around department. Here are some of my uh, inks I'm using. They are called, uh, the, the brand is Schminke and they are called Aero Color Professional and they are acrylic inks, not alcohol based inks. Uh, I would like to have, but I haven't. So I'm using what I have and these are some of those color bottles. Let me clear my workspace. You can see I have some Yupo paper uh, already strapped to my Lazy Susan. And uh, why I'm using such a thing uh, will become apparent during the video. First, um, what I do is um, wetting the paper. In this case, uh, there's not only clear water, but uh, some um, tinted water left over from a recent project. That's not a big problem. It's rather good um, because now you can see where the water is on the paper and where not. I'm trying to, uh, usually I try to cover the whole page, uh, which helps the inks uh, flow across the paper. So now I'm um, dropping inks on the paper and you can already see that uh, they are spreading across the paper. Um, and I use um, contrasting colors next to each other for apparent reasons. Um, the names of the colors are not that important to me, it, it, uh, that is, but uh, there's some cadmium red, basic yellow, lime green and so on. But uh, as I said, the names of the colors aren't that important to me, uh, more they, uh, how they look on the paper. Um, you see my table on which I'm working is a little bit tilted to the back. Uh, for you, it's the front, to, uh, the front um, right part of the whole assembly here is tilted. So, so the water keeps flowing into that direction. That's usually a problem and you try to avoid such a thing. But in my case, um, since I know that the table isn't level, uh, I'm using that to, yeah, to di direct the flow of the colors. Oh. So you, you can see me turn the Lazy Susan from time to time um, around so that the uh, flow is directed uh, differently. And uh, usually you see um, yeah, it tries to, all the water and the, the fluids try to flow to the, um, to one corner of my paper. Um, yeah, here I add some more inks and uh, next I try some yellow inside the already made spots. Yeah, it's all because I like contrast and uh, hoping that uh, the resulting picture or painting um, will have lots of areas that are yeah, clashing against each other. So yeah, that's why I add white on top of the yellow. And um, this is uh, the direction in which it's flowing right now. Um, that's good because I want the, the inks on the paper to mix. Um, in a few seconds you will see me getting out my wife's hair dryer. Yeah, here it is. And um, while I'm blo uh, turning it on, I mute the video so you won't be bothered by the noise this thing makes. But you can see uh, how the, uh, the warm air flow uh, controls the, the spreading of the colors. And 
I could blow on the fluids on the paper, but <laughs> I'm trying not to faint while I'm working or messing around. Uh, I, I guess you can call it, uh, you could call it work uh, if somebody paid me money for it. But um, uh, until now, I haven't made a single penny of uh, this kind of um, playing with colors or with paints. Uh, but it's it's fun. So um, if I have some spare time, I ah, I get out my things and blow colors or inks around paper. Usually there's a moment where um, the paper doesn't um, soak up any more ink and uh, that's usually usually the point where I'm uh, getting out my paper towels to um, soak up all the inks that are unnecessary. I haven't found a way to um, yeah to, to save those inks. Um, I'm just soaking them up uh, with the paper towels and uh, they are lost. They are they will go to the trash. But I wish I could um, save those even if they are already mixed as you can see here. Um, I, I assume I'm, I'm assuming that uh, I could use those somewhere else as well. I have tried one time uh, to um, pick those uh, fluids up with an with an um, eyedropper kind of tool, but it was very mm, difficult to, to yeah to <laughs> get the inks into the tool. So uh, yeah, I I already no I I only got a few milliliters of ink saved this way. Uh, and here you can see me just using paper towels. It can get messy at this point because sometimes uh, the inks don't uh, stay inside the tape walls I have created uh, at the beginning. And um, yeah, th that's why my Lazy Susan surface is already covered in paint. But that's no problem. Usually this ink dries very quickly, especially when uh, I'm blowing warm air on, on top of it. So yeah, and it doesn't matter if the, uh, the wood surface of the Lazy Susan is dirty or not, that's not a problem. Here I'm taking a moment to stare at the page and decide if it's any good if I like any parts of it. And here you can see me um, getting out my handy, my, my mobile, filming the surface in detail. So um, yeah, I'm usually not hanging those pictures as they are on the wall because usually they are not, um, yeah, not that interesting as a whole, but some details of them are pretty, yeah, are pretty. So um, what I do is I scan those paintings um, and take out or, or magnify certain areas that I like and use those for um, prints. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I have started a red bubble shop and I try to um, um, make them print my detailed photographs of my paintings onto t-shirts, cups, mugs, uh, laptop covers, such things. And yeah, let's see how this works out. Yeah, that's the little demonstration. You can see some contrasting areas I like quite a bit. Yeah. Sometimes there are many of those areas or details that, that I like. And sometimes the whole painting is trash. Uh, this morning I have done three paintings and only 
yeah, a few details were worthy of keeping. But nonetheless, I stack those pages of Yupo paper in the corner of my living room and um, maybe sometimes they are worth something. <laughs>